दिस इज हार्दिक गुप्ता फ्रॉम ग्रीन बनाओ वी आर नाउ विथ अवर थर्ड ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो ऑफ एच वी सी ग्रीन प्रोजेक्ट सीरीज इन अवर लास्ट टू वीडियोज वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट ग्रीन बिल्डिंग एंड इट्स डिफरेंट रेडिंग सिस्टम एंड ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रजिस्टर अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑन आई जी बी सी पोर्टल वी आर हेयर विद नाउ फिजिबिलिटी स्टडी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फिजिबिलिटी ऑफ आई जी बी सी ग्रीन होम्स मल्टी ट्वेलिंग यूनिट आई विल कवर हेयर ओनली फर्स्ट सेक्शन साइट सेलेक्शन एंड प्लानिंग नाउ फिजिबिलिटी बेसिकली फिजिबिलिटी डिसाइड द प्रोजेक्ट रेटिंग एंड वॉट इज द इम्प्रूवमेंट वी नीड टू गैट द पर्टिकुलर सर्टिफिकेशन लेवल बिफोर स्टार्ट एनी प्रोजेक्ट वी नीड टू फाइनलाइज कैल्टन ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन गेट स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी कैन मेक पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशन फॉर आवर प्रॉब्लम एंड इम्प्लीमेंट इट इन अवर इन द प्रोजेक्ट नाउ वील हैव अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ साइट सिलेक्शन एंड प्लानिंग सेक्शन द फर्स्ट वन इज प्रेडिकेट वन लोकल बिल्डिंग एंड रेगुलेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट a uh, building should be complied with necessary like regulatory codes like approved building or site plan sanction letter fit or occupancy certificate etc to comply this mandatory requirement project should be complied the entire mandatory requirement so we need to provide this every document to igbc during certification process second mandatory requirement is soil erosion and control Project sites should have soil erosion sedimentation control measures like sedimentation basin, uh, fertile topsoil preservation, preservation of existing trees, etc. During construction to comply this mandatory requirement, the required ESC measures have been highlighted in the National Building Code of India, 2005, Part 10, Section 1, Chapter 4, and Chapter 5. Next is basic household amenities. to comply this credit project should have seven basic amenities like bank atm bus stop railway station etc within a walking distance of 1 km from the building entrance additionally project needs to provide common seating and toilet facilities as well as tot plot area as per requirement mentioned in igbc guideline our project is complying this credits hence we have taken two points in this credit Next one is neutral topography of vegetation. Under this credit, we can achieve two points after providing fifteen percent of the landscape area and four points after after providing twenty five percent landscape area of the total site area. If you are providing more than twenty five up to thirty five percentage, you can go for the uh, exemplary performance in this credit. In our project, uh, we are complying. for two points hence we have taken two points in achievable and two points in under not targeted uh, next one is heat island effect non roof in this credit we can achieve minimum 1 point by covering 50% and maximum two points by covering 75% of the non roof impervious area by grass pavers or shades from the trees we'll have 100% non roof area will be covered with the grass pavers hence we have taken two points under this credit next is heat island effect roof to comply this credit we need to provide high solar reflective material like white tiles of vegetation on 15% of the exposed roof area to get two points and 75% to get four points we will have 100% exposed roof area covered with white tiles hence we have taken four points under this credit Next is SSP CR parking facility for visitors. In this credit, building should comply with the requirement of local parking bylaw to minimize disturbance caused due to parking on public roads. Even to even project should also have 10% extra parking for the visitors. We will have both in our projects hence we are taken 1 point under this credit. Next is electric charging facility for vehicles. to comply this credit project should provide electric charging facilities to cater at least 5% of the total resident parking capacity here we should exclude visitor parking from the total parking total parking capacity provided for the residents our project will have this facility hence we have taken one point under this credit next is ssp cr7 De- designed for differently able 
we can achieve two points under this credit by providing facilities for differently able. We need to provide parking, easy access main entrance, braille and audio lifts, restroom or toilet, visual warning signage, non-slippery ramps with handrails inside the project site. Number of required parking and toilet facility can be get from IGBC guideline. In our project, we will have all these type of facilities, hence we have taken two points under, under this credit. Next is SSP CR8, Basic Facilities for Construction Workforce. Project should have basic facilities for construction workforce. These facilities including housing, first aid, drinking, toilet, daycare facilities. In our project, we will have these facilities, hence we have taken two points under this credit. Next is SSP CR9 Green Home Guideline Design and Post Occupancy. To comply this credit, project owner need to provide green building guideline to occupants that educate and help them to implement green design features in their house. In our project, we will do the same. Hence, we have taken single point under this credit. We will discuss about more sections in the next videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any query, then post it below. Join with Green Banao. Go Green.